Hello. <laughs> it's weird to talk to each other. You Our can cells. edit this, right? Yeah. So. <laughs> Hi, I'm Mr. Garen. Hi, I'm Mr. Wagner. We teach 7th grade social studies, and we want to welcome you to our class and explain how our class works, because it's a little bit different than a traditional classroom. This year in 7th grade, your sons and daughters will have both of us as their social studies teachers. Mr. Garen and I co-teach together. We have one large classroom that can accommodate both of our classes combined, and we teach together all through the day. That's one major difference. Another major difference this year is that we use a model of teaching called the flipped classroom. This is where you take the traditional classroom with the lecture and then the homework and flip it around. So during the day, kids will come into our class and they will do uh, projects and individual activities and assignments. And then at night, they will watch videos where they get the lecture. So the flipped model is really great because it allows students to spend a little extra time on the content of the class. All that lecturing, all the note taking is done through videos that are um, provided through a YouTube channel and through the Moodle website and they can stop, pause, replay, uh, go back and basically go over anything that they missed, anything that they need um, or didn't understand and then we spend our class time dealing with other activities. A good, another good thing about the flipped classroom is that it gives you as parents an opportunity to see what your children are learning in our class. You can actually see the content that we're teaching. Um, another advantage to us using the flipped classroom is we use a website called Moodle and on the Moodle website all of our activities, assignments, projects, all of our quizzes and tests are given through that website. Um, another feature of the Moodle site is a gradebook feature. So everything that your child does, everything that is graded, is on the Moodle web website. So if you ask your child to give you their username and password, you will have access to this site at any time and you can see what we're doing on a daily basis. You can see the activities and assignments. You can see the quizzes, the tests. You can see their grades. Um, so what we're trying to do is, is to be as transparent as we can and to give you as much information as possible. On that Moodle website, you, uh, we encourage you to log in each day or at least a few times a week, and you will see some news from us, some updates, announcements, etc. There's also contact information for both of us and also the science class. They're doing the they're using the Moodle website as well. So you can email us through that. You can uh, log in as your student or as your child and you can contact us through inside the Moodle site. So if you need anything from us, if you need uh, our contact information, you need to get in touch with us, you need to see what your child is doing, go to that Moodle website and if your student will not give you their username and password, we will be more than happy to give that to you. The school district has what's called the parent portal, which you can access through our school tool software. Um, we, as the two of us, really don't use that. Um, we prefer to use the Moodle webpage. We've been doing using Moodle for three, four years now. We like what it has. All of our information is up there. All of our uh, content is up there. So it's easier for us to use the Moodle website. Um, and speaking of announcements, two announcements quickly. GMS Open House. Gloversville Middle School is holding their open house on Thursday night, September 18th. Um, if you come early, they're having a spaghetti dinner from 5 to 6. And then the open house program starts um, at 6 o'clock after the spaghetti dinner. Um, so please, if you can make it, come on out. Um, you'll have an opportunity to meet all of the teachers for your child and to talk to us about our curriculum, our content, and our programs. All right. Thank you very much. <clears throat> and we hope to hear from you through the year and hear that you are keeping track of your child. And we're going to end with just a quick tour of our classroom. We'll, we'll take the laptop computer and uh, kind of rotate it around so you can get a sense of what our classroom looks like. That is Mr. Wagner. This is my side of the classroom. 
here. You'll notice we have an iPad cart where your student will store his or her iPad. We have all of all kinds of posters. It's a very historically minded room because we teach social studies. So you see the size. It's nice and large. A lot of room for projects. Our desks. Mine is a mess. So we hope to hear from you, like we said. Thank you.